guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. It is a pretty decent sized one. Um, lots of crafting ideas, some organizational stuff, and some room spray. I found she was unstock, unstocking. She was stocking the shelves with this when I went to the Dollar Tree in Coshocton. Um, that's where I was over the weekend. There's Alex and Dubby. He's Wellington's tails behind me. I'll just went that way. Um, so I'm from Coshocton. We had a little family get together this weekend, like a reunion. And I went early, went to the Dollar Tree and I found this. It smells good. I just sprayed it. It is pumpkin air fresher. It's pretty sweet, but I like it. So I grabbed that. And like I said, I'm doing some cleaning and some organizing in my craft room because I want to do a tour, but it is a disaster zone right now. So I picked up a few things um to organize one being some trash bags so i just grabbed these i like the larger size i'm purging big time so i grabbed a four pack of these if i need more i could just go get them and then i grabbed one of the double extra large storage bags and a two pack of the extra large and i'll show you what size they are um for fabric and things that I buy to craft on that's uh, cloth or fabric related, I can um, stick them in here. And these are really heavy duty. This is the extra large size. And they have a zip tie and you can put them on a hanger and hang them in a closet if you want. Or just going to keep <clears throat> the fabric and cloth stuff until I, I probably won't go through the dresser and before I do my tour. Um, I have a lot of fabric in the dresser, but this is a lot of like the Dollar Tree hand towels that I'm going to be crafting with, stuff like that. Not necessarily fabric fabric. And then this size is a two extra large. And then they also come in a three pack of just the large. And what I like too is this box opens like this so you can take it out. And if you're not using them all, just leave the rest in there. But this one is pretty big. These would be good for your Christmas wreaths. You could stick them in here and hang them. This one has a bottom that opens. Um, I think it's called a pleated bottom. The other one does not. So this size, the double X, would definitely hold like a Christmas wreath of some sort or any holiday wreath. You could seal them up in here and then hang them in a closet or a garage and they won't get yucky. Now it won't stop from the heat or the cold, uh, but this is a nice big one. Now I have in my basement, um, it's a like one of those rolling clothes racks that you can hang stuff on. And I have all my wreaths hanging on one of those and it, it's fine because it's in the basement. And there's, my basement is finished, so it's not anything gross down there. A little dusty maybe. And then I also have in my back where it's not finished, there's a small area where I keep my Christmas. I have some greenery hanging back there where I've just nailed into the studs to hang stuff on. Um, so that's my organization. I just needed a few things that I could like bag up and get out of the way and keep everything kind of together. Um, for example, I bought a gray t-shirt and these are Gildan brand. These are nice t-shirts. And I got this dark gray because I want to make something for me with my Cricut. And I have a few sizes of t-shirts that I have. So these I could fold up all my t-shirts after I've washed them and dried them and then store them in one of these bags and even just store in a closet or a drawer or something but all the t-shirts will be then together that's kind of my plan so i got the gildan t-shirt for crafting i also picked up two of these um i was watching kate crafts by caitlin and she did something super cute with these for fall um i don't know if i would do exactly what she did but i thought these were fun so i grabbed these two and i can sand them and paint them myself so I grabbed two while they were available. So I did that or purchased those as a crafting item. The other thing I got for crafting, which sounds kind of loose, is called multi-purpose adhesive spray. Works on paper, wood, cardboard, and more. It's an adhesive, but it's a pump spray. So we'll see how it works. I've never seen that there before. 
um, yeah, clean spray, oh, clean spray cap after each use. So you must, you know, clean this after the use. But yeah, it's a aerosol spray or a pump spray. And it doesn't sound very thick. I don't know. So I grabbed this for $1. Uh, I picked up a set of these. Somebody was showing that they bought the pencil pouches to store stickers and things in, but I think I'm gonna buy a bunch and store my knitting needles and then I can put them on the rings to keep them in each pouch for each different size knitting needle will get them organized. So I think I'm gonna do that. I'll show you when I do it and how I do it, but I needed a set of these and I wanted the large ones because I have a lot of knitting needles. <laughs> and if you don't know what these are, these are book rings and they snap and you hold, you know, papers or whatever. These are great to have and Dollar Tree has several sizes. I got the big ones, like I said, because I have a lot of knitting needles to organize. So I grabbed that. Now I just have to grab, um, I'm thinking about at clearance time, grabbing a bunch of the see-through or the clear pencil pouches. Oh, it's getting dark out. I finally found the stickers, the fall ones. I have the Halloween ones, the witches hats, but I couldn't find these pumpkins. And you know, I decorate for Halloween's giving. So I grabbed two of the pumpkins because I feel like I could do some fun fall and then maybe some Thanksgiving. Um, I have some cute thoughts on these. So I grabbed two packs while I was there. I mean, it's not like they're gonna go bad or something. Um, and if you can see, there's some glitter, there's some not glitter, and then there's some raw wood. And then I grabbed the leaves and the little pumpkins as well. And these would be adorable for one of my ideas that I'll tell you about in a minute. I bought these ribbons. These are one inch, no, five eighths inch wide. These are Grogain. So they're the thicker ribbon that you can actually melt the ends so they don't fray. Um, there's something on Pinterest I want to do. I'm going to do a nail it or fail it and see if I can recreate something that my coworkers and I want. And I needed some ribbon. I'll get some different colors, but for now I grabbed these three, which are the pumpkins. I like the brown with the gold and the chevron. Do you see this behind me? Boys. Hey, Alex. No, sir. Come here. They're crazy. Now they're wrestling again. Come here. Hey, you stop. Come sit with me. Maybe he'll come on camera. Come here, come sit with me. Or not. I found the plates that go with the tray and the napkins that I already purchased. I don't know that I'm hosting Thanksgiving, but I will use these in November to eat on. I like eating on paper plates on occasion, not styrofoam paper. These are biodegradable. There's 18 plates. They're not so sturdy. That's okay. So I do have these and I love this rustic and with the teal it's just so pretty to me so i grabbed one pack of those will be plenty now for my idea i don't know if i purchased the turkeys i feel like i did for my fall something or other but i wasn't sure but i had a good idea that i want to do with these and use turning them into either name plates for your thanksgiving table or if you do a buffet turning these into um little ids that say like turkey stuffing cranberry sauce contains meat has gluten you know you can put it out on your buffet and let people know if there's some information you want to pass he's playing with his ball now if there's any information that you want to pass off to them so what i'm going to do is i will have a diy up on painting these and how am i how i'm going to attach them and make them stand up I thought that would be fun. So I grabbed one pack of those. I think five is sufficient. I think maybe I'll grab a second pack if I see them before I do the craft, but we'll see. But I feel like five is sufficient. Um, in my family, we really wouldn't have to denote anything being gluten-free or whatever, but definitely it, I think it's just cute on your table to put what is in each, you know, serving bowl or dish um my last fall or how this is actually straight up halloween um i'm not gonna lie i opened a box because i want these these are wood um they do light up 
in the back. I didn't, I can now. Fold the tab. And this one doesn't work. So apparently, I shouldn't have robbed, not robbed, but busted it open because this one is not working. It's okay. I don't think. Oh, there we go. They light up. Isn't that so cute? And this is an orange light. So let me turn that off. I grabbed the one. The house says trick or treat. I got the little green um, ghost. He's in, got an orange light too, and he says boo. Oh my gosh, is this not completely adorable? And then I picked up the little wooden sign that just says happy Halloween, which I think these are well worth the dollar. Oh. They got a kind of a short in them, I think. So then I got to figure out how to make this turn off. There. And it says Happy Halloween with the bat. And I think on my desk at work, these would be adorable. And just set them up. And they're small enough. They would go in a three-tiered tray. Even if you don't light them up. This one's pretty heavy, by the way. Even if you don't light them up, I think they are adorable just to sit in a tray or on a mantle or with your Ray Dunn collection. Um, but these are very cute. So I grabbed all three of those. I think there was only three in the box. But they were just sitting there, and I saw I opened it. Um, in This was at my Dollar Tree. I'm sorry. I went to two different ones. That was at my Dollar Tree. The one I get shocked and had some aromatherapy. And this is just refreshing mint eucalyptus body cream. They also had body scrub and they had um, bath balls, uh, bath bombs, but I just needed this. So we're going to see. Ooh, it's pretty thick. It definitely smells like eucalyptus. Ooh, it goes on thick, not sticky. It rubs in. It's got a creaminess to it. It definitely is not Bath and Body Works or some like Eucerin cream or Aveeno. But it has a really good smell to it. I liked it. So I grabbed the cream. I love this smell. Um, yeah, and it's not bad. And this is a Rejoice International Ink. So this is not a Greenbrier brand. And it's made in Northville, Michigan. Oh. It's distributed by Rejoice Made in China. So they had the whole set and they had different ones as well. But I don't, I think this one's nice and it's not green briar. Um, so yeah, interesting. So I grab, I don't know what this cat is doing. I grabbed that. And then the last, yeah, the last thing I got were some stickers and I'm gonna take them to work. And these are the adult stickers like I drove without swearing, I didn't hit the snooze. Took only one selfie today. I made my bed. I got dressed. Didn't lose my keys. I think these are amazingly awesome. This one is pretty girly. I shaved my legs. Folded my laundry. I cooked dinner. Washed my hair. I almost went to the gym today. I love that one. I almost went to the gym today. I didn't look at my phone during dinner. Uh, watered my plants today. I think these are great affirmation stickers. And then these are, because adulting is hard, um, I like to drink coffee and pretend I know what I'm doing. Nothing gives me as much relief as canceling plans. I'm exhausted from almost having to socialize. My favorite memory from childhood is not having to pay bills. <laughs> and these are all stickers. And I just thought these would be so fun to pass out. You know, every once in a while, just give one to somebody at work. So I grab these stickers. And that is, oh, I just kicked you. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be kicking people. That's rude. I'm not getting a sticker today. <gasps> I'm so funny. All right. Well, that is it. That is my Dollar Tree haul. I hope you enjoy. Uh, we've picked up a lot of new viewers, and I want to say welcome and thank you for subscribing. It really does help our channel grow a lot. And it, 
also enables me to be able to um, bring you more content. So if you haven't subscribed, I would appreciate if you hit that subscribe button. I think my analytics said 65% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribers. So hit that button, hit the notification bell, we'll let you know when I have a new video up, and I will talk to you later. Bye! Bye.